This opening lap of the Monaco Grand Prix has been chaos and I'm filming this in the middle of the red flag period and there's about 10 minutes until the race restarts so this is why I'm talking so quickly. But I don't want to talk about the massive crash between Perez and Magnussen although Magnussen is probably going to get a race ban because of it and all the controversy going on around it. I want to talk about Esteban Ocon and Pierre Gasly and what the fuck is Go Ocon playing at? He dives down the inside of his teammate at Portier where his teammate is already moving across to try and have a look at to move coming out of the tunnel so that's the first mistake that he made having a dive bomb down the inside then he had the fucking audacity to go out onto the edge of the circuit and put his teammate into a position where either he hits the wall and takes him out but that wouldn't matter because Ocon was pulling across the track anyway so as a result Ocon hits P Gasly in a completely avoidable accident and like I said hits him and it throws his car up into the air and it's completely ruined his race. What is he playing at? Honestly, why would you hit your own teammate in such a stupid mistake? It's literally the most basic thing that you can do as a driver. It's not to hit your teammate in such an easy position not to hit them. It's not like he's got another car alongside him like Magnussen and Hulkenberg had. Instead, what's happened is he has hit his own teammate out of free will, basically. He understood or whatever into him he didn't even really attempt to avoid contact he opens up his steering wheel at that point you're basically just turning into him so instead of the alpine mechanics trying to fix his car don't let him start the race again just leave him there there's absolutely no point of him trying to continue the race because all what he has proven in this accident is that he is completely useless in f1 and stroll hit the back of gasly because of this and this is one of the few times where i'm on board with stroll not being at fault for anything, as much as I like to joke about, everyone in that situation was in an untenable position, except for Ocon. He did that sort of on purpose. I wonder if this could be a wider Alpine rivalry thing, and this was basically his attempt to gain an advantage over Perez, not Perez, Gasly, which has backfired massively. Also got the Piastri science feud, which is now going to continue on, which personally I think was like a racing incident. Because, you know, they'll just go side by side. But with Magnussen, I can see him getting a race ban because of all this shit that's just happened in the past couple of races. And realistically, Perez could be in a lot of trouble because he's completely written off that car. I mean, he did check his mirror, so whether it was Perez's fault is up to discussion and everything. But what that doesn't change the fact of is that I think this is just going to allow the FIA to drop Monaco for 2026 to replace it with Chicago because that's apparently what they're going to release in the next couple of days. So if you see for in the next few weeks Chicago get put on the calendar, it's probably going to be at the expense of Monaco and they're just going to say works well, for safety purposes and better racing. But Monaco can provide good racing when the cars are actually good. So to F1 and basically everyone involved, I don't know what to do anymore. I'm melting down over Ocon mainly and I'll go to try and get my blood vessels back to a normal state so I don't have a stroke and die. Now go go back to watching the race. Thank you and goodbye.